Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be way different than what you normally see. I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step on how I go through the process of creating a painting. Alright, let's get to it. So when I start a painting, I like to find photo reference, especially when I'm drawing something realistic. After I find the photo that best fits my idea, I begin a basic sketch. Here I'm using a blue pencil to create my pre-sketch. And uh, I'm not really using the blue pencil for any particular reason, it's just, you know, something for fun. So here you can see that I started with the face and the hair. Um, I, when I start a sketch, I usually start with the face, with the eyes, and then I build out from the face. You can see here that I have finished my sketch, and I'm now ready to redraw it onto a larger paper. So now I've started to draw the Indian on a larger scale. Um, I started with the eye and build, build out with the face like I said earlier. I am also using reference from my previous sketch and the photo. So now I've added some more details, I've added more hair, I've finished some of the face, I had um, clothes and jewelry. Um, you can see that I've added shading and a little bit more detail work. This is just for, um, you know, make one, making the the drawing look finished and two uh, so when I transfer the drawing to canvas I know exactly where to keep the shapes um, of you know to add color and um, where I'm supposed to add definition and, and things like that here I have the finished sketch um, I have the headdress and I have, um, all completed all detailed out everything has all its final details that I will need to transfer to the canvas here you can see I've prepped the canvas. Um, I have a square right in the center of the canvas um, as the focal point where I'm going to place the Indian's uh, face. I took tape and I taped out a pattern for the background just to make it a little more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Now I've started to add paint. Um, I took a magenta and I just painted over all the tape just so that I would get a nice clean even uh, amount of paint to create my background. Now I removed all of the tape on the border. Um, I left the inner tape in so that I could still know exactly where to place the Indian and that way I don't bleed the other paint into the background. Now I've taken the full sketch. Uh, the actual sketch of the Indian is rather large. It's uh, probably around 20 by 20 and the actual canvas is 40 by 40. Uh, so I've taken the sketch, placed it on graphite paper, and now I will trace the drawing and transfer it. The drawing is now transferred over. Um, it's light, just light enough where I can add paint over where the pencil will not show through. This is good so that you have a basic idea of where color needs to go. Here I've started to add color. Most of the areas are finalized, but others have additional work. And when adding color, I always start in some place random. Uh, it's always different where I start, and each time I start in a new place, I just add color where I think it's going to look cool and uh, take it from there. At this stage, the planing is pretty much almost done. I still have a section of the face left, and um, I have to do the background, and then you know fix up the uh, the triangles and stripes and and the and the border. And once the face is complete, I'll go back into the background, finish up that, and change the face and the shirt and the headdress to whatever uh, is necessary with the darker background. So now the painting's finished, and what I've done with the background is add a handful of colors that I liked and just blended them all together. And then I went back into the portrait and darkened the shirt and the headdress. Um, with the headdress, I just added I, or layered uh, a bunch of grays and uh, until I got the, the color that I wanted. Um, I also went back into the shirt and just layered a few more colors, uh, darkened up some areas, um, and then with the background border, I uh, took the same color and just darkened up the triangles and stripes, made it a little more, um, you know, a little. A little a little more darker just for it to stand out and then I, at the very bottom uh, right corner I added my signature. And these are the steps that I took to paint the Indian. 
Uh, let me know if you guys like this video. If you want to see more of me talking about the steps and processes I went through to paint paintings or drawings, let me know in the comments below and I would be glad to do it. Thanks for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you next time.